The Kansas City Monarchs were one of the greatest baseball franchises not in black baseball history, but in baseball history. They were a charter member of the original Negro National League established in 1920. They were owned by James Leslie Wilkinson, or Wilkie, as he was affectionately known. J.O. Wilkinson was the only white owner of the original eight Negro League franchises. And initially, Andrew Rube Foster did not want any white ownership, but he would eventually relent because he kept hearing these great things about this dude named J.O. Wilkinson. Buck O'Neill would say of J.O. Wilkinson that he was the first white man he ever met without any prejudice. His players absolutely adored him because he treated them with dignity and respect. The Monarchs, many will say, were the New York Yankees of the Negro Leagues. But there are others who will say that the New York Yankees were the Kansas City Monarchs of Major League Baseball. The Monarchs had one losing season in their almost 40-year existence in the Negro Leagues. They sent more players to the Major Leagues than any other Negro League franchise. The litany of great stars are just too many to count who call Kansas City home. The Kansas City Monarchs were the talk of the town all over the world. Because not only did they spend so much time here in Kansas City, but they were barnstorming all over the country. But Kansas City was also at the epicenter of life in this country. You see, when Buck O'Neill came to Kansas City in 1938, he said, I knew I was coming to the heart of America. I never knew I was coming to the center of the universe. Because Kansas City and 18th and Vine was indeed the center of the universe. Cultural crossroads where jazz and baseball intersected. And at the heart of that were the great Kansas City Monarchs.